card idea, which if you look at this um, this uh, Swanton Arts Council Growing Presence of Art, all those ideas came from this report card from 2020. So once I looked at this and once we were looking at it, we're like, we have a lot of already great ideas and a great information. And if you could remember, some of you may remember, they were graded by all of whoever was involved in it. And, and many of our grades were C's, B minuses, I think we got a D. Did we get any A's? Oh, we got A. Uh, couple. B plus. But you know, we, we all realized we can, somehow we want to raise our GPA. And that was kind of Judy's like, GPA, but can we do something different about grade point average? So, you know, we came up with the growing presence of art. And I, myself, I said, I mean, the growing pains of art. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> there's been a lot of growing pains, you know, and, 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 and even you yourselves as artists, it's painful process sometimes. It's amazing and painful all at once. So I love this GPA idea. And um, I think often we get set up with, what do we got to do better? How do we get better? How do we improve? What are we going to do? And sometimes we lose sight of what have we done? So I'm really... You know, I saw the list of accomplishments this year, and I was like, oh my word, like, it's amazing how much stuff happened in the middle of a pandemic, in the middle of, of these last two years where we weren't even meeting, we were on Zoom, and I don't know, Judy was running it, and I remember my first meeting, I, I, I got cut off, and you know, it was, it was hard, and it's been hard for all of us, and here we are, sitting here, still creating, still going after it. Uh, I have, I just, I just have so, ad, so much admiration and very inspiring. And so I was hoping, or we were hoping that we could start out with right over there. Sorry, it's on that corner, but right over there you want me to. to start. What's that? Can we move it to another spot? It might be easier for. Can you come? Can you just come up here by yeah. any chance? So it might just be easier for people. Come right here. Block that board. I was hoping to just do a good brainstorming, throw out the things that you think happened in this 2021 year for the Arts Council. What was accomplished? What kinds of things happened? And one thing I want to start out with is Heather, um, I don't know what you call it, Heather, when we got together at the golf club. Art social. Art social. We had art social. One art social, but we had one. And yeah, somebody's yeah. going to do the right. Do you want to do it, Judy, or do you want? I got it. Are you good? I got it. I got it. Yep. Art social. Yeah, I get a picture of my best side on the. We love all of you. On the camera there. Okay, brainstorm. Let me just throw out some answers here. What do you think happened in Swanton for arts in 2021? 2021. We got the art boards up. Yeah, that's we're right. The yeah, art boards. That was really up. fun. That was a big one. We had like the best farmer's market and um, food all. truck ever. Yeah. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. And the little cross series. Like I'm using. Mm -hmm. I love the free art. We had, I don't know how many classes. I, I, I can't go through them all, but I know there's lots of classes we had. We have free art? Or we have a li uh, so oh, the free art. We had a list somewhere of the free art classes. We had 16 free art classes with 16. reaching over 350 people. That's like, just put that up there, please. We, and we spent $3,100. 3000 was reimbursed from a grant. So we spent $100. I mean, that's just that. unheard of. I'm that's sorry. Crazy. Amazing. We had, um, we had by the, the youth art, oh sorry, go ahead. I was just going to do a follow-up just since we're talking about that. We have applied for a $4,000 grant for the same, so keep all your fingers crossed for us, because if we can. Yeah, yeah. send out some positive vibes on that one. Please, yeah. We established a youth art nook with mm -hmm. Molly McKenzie being Thank our first Molly. youth artist, so that is now established. Which is very exciting, and we also have a um, local artist showcase nice do you think we did um did more collaboration with like you know like the library and the, oh, and the yeah. rec like center. the rec center like we did more collaboration with other groups in town library oh and rec. government and um, government yeah yes we did and, and also like you know nonprofit orgs with seth and 
um, you know, economic development. So we really got integrated in, I think, this year. Yeah, more so. Absolutely. Awesome. Does the tabling and display for the Halloween in the park? Yeah. Ooh, Halloween in the park. Halloween in the park. We did a giveaway. We did a giveaway and we did a art installation. I would like to say um, at that um, art social, I know we had a discussion with David and Scott about doing the art boards and making it a community art, you know, a, a, a tailgate community art event. Art and party. The paint and shower. An art party, and it went well. It went really well. I wasn't there, but I know it went well. It was lovely. And we got that. So who we had? Um, we had amazing artwork from David. We uh, Scott, Rayum, Christian, Phil, George, Janet, Janet, Michelle, Michelle. Those are the boards. Um, Chloe. Yep. And then the, the community. Well, and then there was community. a community one too, and I think in everybody. Like two, I know Marie that was two, two on words that. for community. Yeah, yeah, Marie helped on that. And Joe, because you, you did some work on that other yeah. one. We had children and families it was amazing. show up. It was, it was really fun. Beautiful. Yeah, it was fun. You have a major list. Did we miss anything? No. Okay. Yeah. The one thing that um, isn't necessarily part, part of the Arts Council, although SPAN is collaborating with, is Amy um, Brewer and um, Ashley Michelle working on, and Van Jo working on a youth mural project. So oh, yeah, that is in process, yes. even though we haven't seen that just yet. So that but it started now, right? Yeah, we got the <coughs> grant and is in oh, process yeah. this year, and we're going to facilitate awesome. through next year. And just Absolutely. Um, thanks to Van Jo and Ashley Michelle. We did the, we did a, um, we didn't do the youth art show because of the pandemic, but we did the Emerging Artist Award. Um, that was Alan Rivers was this year. Um, Grace Kinney was the year before, and we also did the. Um, How about the Edwin Church? Edwin Church. Edwin Church. We're not there yet. It's in process. It's in process. It's in process. Um, and the, pre the winner for last year was um, Don Lafave no. last year. But we did um, the writers, the artist writers' response to the Hate You Give. Which was really cool, and that was with the humanities working through the humanities council. Um, we did a button uh, contest. Didn't we decide to do something with you for the library to be a part of something? We Just talked about the Friends of the Library. That was it. We're not there yet, but we okay. started talking about a Friends. <laughs> hey, of the we'll take talk. We started talking about a Friends Library organization, which would be wonderful because that will get that will give them lots of opportunities to do fundraising that they currently don't have. There is a knitting group. Art journaling Art continued journaling. this year. Yep, yeah. and we did um, we did inspiration kits, and we also did the Joy of Gel, which was Judy. Don't you have a writers group too? Yes, thank you, writers group. We got it down for them. We did uh, unicorn spit class, Ooh. which was separate, um, and gel plate, right? Yep, and the gel plate printmaking. Those That's separate. separate from the free arts yep. series. Yep. And we also got um, Julia Tinganelli and um, Nicole Draper are working on the makerspace. Julia is the um, the lead for that, and that was made possible by the um, youth. Well, made the wrong, the word wrong, but there's a youth network, uh, youth leadership network that um, put that grant forward, and Julia is the lead for that. So that's what's making the makerspace happen. We get a lot of donations for that. Awesome. What hasn't started yet is, um, but we did get the grant. It was a grant for a mural on on the side of the Swanton laundromat wall. So that will be a, a maybe a potentially multi-year, multi-org um, collaboration. So uh, that just started up, and eventually, 
see in January. I'll be emailing everybody. I need some help with, <laughs> with trying, you know, murals are big projects, but we'll be working with the government on trying to get murals and public art more of a presence. If And I'd like to know if that's something we'd like to see also. But, um, I think that's on our, on, our, on our little list. Public yeah. art is one of, the big, one of the things there, definitely. Or the Halloween craft kits are shown there. I'm sorry, Halloween, so, oh, craft, kits. Halloween craft kits. And coming soon. I guess those are fun. Were you craft kits? Part of that. The um, coming coming for 2022 is we are going to be having a crochet group um, that Lori is going to be leading, and that's going to be starting in January. Don't remember the dates that it went down because yeah. I got to um, live through Wednesday. December first. Yes, yeah. it's every Wednesday, right? Yeah, every Wednesday. So that's wow. gonna be awesome. Lori inspired me to pick up needles after two years, so this is why I'm doing because I saw this effort. She sold out this yarn, and so I went and bought it. I think this is it. I have a bunch. I after I sold that. Yeah. After I sold that to you, I went back through my stash and I found five or six more skeins of that. Uh -huh. so now I know where to go. One so of each color. I've got one now she's color. inspired me. That's awesome. And you can buy it at Michael's still, I think online. Nice. Uh, one thing we haven't mentioned is recapping the arts, which kind of took a hiatus on the Northwest Access. We'll see if it ever wants to start again. Maybe, maybe not, maybe. and. We won an award. I don't know who saw if anyone saw that, but it was the Scott and I and Katie Foster did a um, oh yeah a thing. Was it was in February. Was it in two thousand nineteen? The, the best part of the article was when they described you and I as not breaking character was for the article? whole. That was in the article for a half an hour. You and I did an amazing job of not. Was Katie a hot dog in that one? Katie's a hot dog. No way, that's the episode. Hot dog yep, fingers, got a award. lady. Hilarious. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a um, a New England. It's a New England award, right? And I'm glad we got that, but we actually deserve more recognition. We do. We do. <laughs> for our performance. <laughs> it was. It was a. Uh, it was pretty amazing. I love you guys um, already. So we should. I mean, like, and that's something we could start up again if anyone ever really wants to. We'll talk about that. I mean, save your save your acting chops for Swanee because because that's gonna that's a big thing. We've also made thousands of buttons. Um, how did that come to be? How did that come to be? How did the, the, the buttons came about as a library grant through the Inform Swanton project? Um, but the button designs um, have all been, you know, they've taken from great artworks that you guys have done, um, and from the button design contest, and also from the Hate You Give. Um, a lot of people had um, either written works or art in those. Um, so there's buttons, buttons everywhere. Speaking of which, um, there are buttons in the back. So I we'll want everybody to take some buttons of the ones that they like. Um, and when we get up and move around, we can take buttons. But I wanted to give these to Michelle for her art wall that she's just print painted. Oh. And you can share some of those too, because I don't have any more of those. It was anonymous. How do people know these no, things? I them. Uh, <laughs> I, think I know it was anonymous. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Nothing's anonymous. anonymous. Yeah, good point. <laughs> well, those are nice. They came out nice. Yeah. I didn't do these ones. This is a surprise. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. I got carpal tunnel from the other ones. Yes. And, uh, how many buttons did you make the other day? Probably, I think it was like, 200, maybe. Yeah, they're all over there. They're all over there. I have a button making shame button. A button making champ, not shame. Oh, I thought it was shame. <laughs> this isn't shame. <laughs> 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 I'll work on that one. No shame. <laughs> shame. Okay, what about no shame for buttons. Huh? It depends what's on those buttons, oh, Michelle. Oh. And then is that yeah. entrepreneur's thing part of the Arts Council or no? Um, we did not do that this year. Um, but we um, would have been nice to know about it. Breakfast. Though. But we did do the um, uh, micro business meetup. Oh yeah. What else we got? We got anything else on there, Heather? Anything else anyone can think of? 
lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. I mean, a lot. Thank I'm you, lot. David. I'm it's a lot. Out, I'm running out of space. And when you see the actual list with every single one separate, it's amazing. Oh, we also got the cultural recovery grant. Oh yeah. That, oh my gosh, that was a that's big. Yeah. I mean, we've hit most of the stuff on the first page, but there's a whole second page. What's the second page? What is it? What are the headings? I mean, just amazing. Um, like the uh, Abenaki Canoe and Cultural Event. Yes. Um, food Truck Sundays. Yeah, we mentioned that one. Oh, you did? Okay, sorry. And the History um, Walk. The oh. Labyrinth. The Mindful oh, yeah, the Labyrinth. Yeah, the fucking Labyrinth. I didn't know we had that. The historic walking tour? It was on the Is that mentioned? Yeah. The artwork. Oh, gosh, I can't spell labyrinth, but it's not right here. Yeah, I was out of town, so did she I missed it? the fall. What about? Did the I think I missed it. I did the historic the art show. I'm sorry, what? The bird art show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, National migratory, uh, migratory, migratory bird art show. Oh, yeah. Apparently. And that will be coming up soon. I don't know about that. know about that. That's it's coming up Mrs. soon. Goy National no, Wildlife May. Yeah, she's going to be sending the things out soon. This is Goy National Wildlife Refuge annual migratory bird show. Rolls right off the tongue. Did you get the holiday arts and crafts show? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I mentioned that, but I don't have yep. to go. Craft shows, because there were two of them. And the small business Saturday thing, too, which was, um, oh, and Darcy's uh, artist spotlights. Yes, I thought that was on there. That's right. yeah. Artist spotlights. And spotlights on Swanton. Why is that on there? Because it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? That's how we got it. Take that. There's an art to it. Okay, I thought. Go ahead, Heather. What do you? I did it because I wanted to do it. I didn't well, do people it don't do these things not for the glory well, and the pins, <laughs> but they do it because it's what they want. And to I do. don't. I wasn't nominated for that, right? I double checked. We didn't because you already had bunch. And okay, we. Good. Because I don't want to be nominated for that. Okay, I don't want know. people thinking I'm being owned by the board. No, 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 no. no. That I work on a whim of yeah. the others. No. Thank you. She didn't work for the man. That's no, right. She didn't work, she didn't work for, for, for me. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do? We miss anything? I'm sure. I mean, this doesn't even mention. This is like doesn't even talk about this all the amazing art that's come around. That's just littered across Swanton now. I mean, like, everywhere. We're so fortunate. We've had a little pop-up at the Chamber of Commerce the other day. I drove by mm -hmm. and somebody was selling their stuff in there. Yeah. We're selling art at the library, which is That's uh, right. insane. Who was uh, at the pop-up? I don't know. An Angela, Angela Carr and Angela. Sally Barrett. Oh, excellent. Yes. Oh, I didn't find out. I didn't find out about that until Sunday afternoon, late yeah, afternoon. Who put, the, who put that on? <coughs> or I would have been. I don't, I don't know who helped to it. organize it, but I know those were the two people that were doing it. Yeah. Um, they're selling like floral arrangements and food. And did you hear about it ahead of time? I saw it because I'm friends with them on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I saw both their posts. I spotted an art wall that's privately owned on the Brigham Road this oh, week. Wow. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. That's a new one? David? It's one side painted and the other one's yeah. not. Is it some and flowers? Painted on the other side, but there's some flowers on the It's some on flowers? Side. Some flowers. I think it's been there for a while. Yeah, it's been there. I didn't, I I'd say a good year and a half, like yeah. maybe two years. Yeah, Which street? It's been there for a long Bring time. Brigham Road, St. Albans. That's St. Albans, and oh. there's a couple in St. Albans, private ones. There's one in Swanton over by Dunkin' Donuts. It was privately owned. Yep. On, on the ground. Right. Right. There's right. another yeah. one like yeah. a block away it's also in that same neighborhood. There's one up on 78 across from the high school somewhere, in the backyard. I don't know that. <laughs> there's gonna be oh, one on. There's gonna be one on Route 78 sometime next spring. Gonna be a couple. Woohoo! Right now, oh, there's a lovely sign up there right stops now. Stops advertising. It says for peace. Do you want peace? Do you want peace? Oh yeah, there's an art mural on uh, Grant Duff too. Not to be repainted, but there is one. There is. <coughs> at the I have some junky barn. Well, there's also uh, a school bus. I was painting in the window of business oh, for the that. transportation for the school bus company. And we can add, uh, we did the, uh, Joanne did the uh, art on the library windows. And we also had the oh, yeah, um, right. art smash. Remember, you guys oh, yeah. came to that? That was an art, a social, an art smash social. The makerspace. Yep. But there's a bunch of classes too, but I don't think we should go through all of them. Yeah, classes, yeah. classes, classes. We get 16 that you said on the free art. You did the monthly art, youth art kits. 
Oh, no. Monthly youth art kits. Running out of space here. Yeah, we need, board's we need to go to a new yeah. year. Well, I think I think that's just to say what's what's happening. It's happening. It's great. Um, and and I don't know how you feel about this, Van Joe, but um, when that poor art, you know, when that kind of negative art was put down, I don't know if we call it art on the sidewalks, you know, and it was just that community thing, and we were able to kind of cover it up beautifully. Yeah. I we think that's art. that. What's that? They said we erased certain types of art. Yes, I guess we did. But that was pretty cool. Like that was like our finding community. racism with art. Yeah. That's yeah. It was pretty racist, kind of, you know, like it was pretty yeah. cool. Thank you. Thank you. Marble Mill, Healthy Fitness Trail. Marble Mill. So from there, you know, kind of going into this little, what, we, what I'm calling a, a sort of a report card, because that's where it started. It started in two, 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 2020, and um, Judy put this again, t took the same categories and the same areas and, and put it here for you now to kind of rate. Um, but before you get going on that, and some of you might have already started because I know how that is, George was sort of listening to us here and there and he, he's sort of a word wizard and he, he took the categories and kind of played. So if George, don't, you don't mind, maybe you could share some of your fun humor. All right, this is, this is just sort of off the cuff and uh, and, uh, coming out of the turmoil uh, last year with the airports coming down and, and all that, um, just that you know, just emphasizing a, 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 a positive attitude and asp artistic aspirations going forward. Sort of contrasting these, um, sort of the, the positives were rebounding out of the negatives, and, and so I just sort of uh, on the service area list, I just kind of came up with some negatives and thinking of the flip side, positive. Um, educate, don't stagnate. Collaborate, don't dominate. Advocate, don't isolate. Administrate, don't aggravate. Celebrate, don't denigrate. Generate, don't obliterate. And the bonus one at the end, uh, create, don't berate. Really nice. Yeah. You can see all Thanks. those on, a pin down the, on pins down the road. Yeah, that's fun. Nice yeah, job. That's a good idea. That's fun. That's fun. So if you would you take a few minutes out and just kind of try to rate some of these areas, these focus areas, um, and, and just see how you, because what we'll do is we'll tally them up and kind of get back to you about it. But just give us an idea of how you think we're doing. And where are we hand, handing these in to? Uh, these? Yeah. Where do we want? You got a spot we can hand these into you? And, and you know what? Well, before you're doing this, because Judy made this up this weekend, huh. this came out of growing pains. Yeah, I know you got the somebody, but we got a new one. It's called No Pain, No Gain. Judy, want to just explain a little No Pain, No Gain? Right. So we have, we currently have, um, we currently have a somebody stick over here. And that's because we don't want to use the word somebody we somebody's got to do this. Somebody's got to do this. No, no, no. We have, to, we have to have somebody speak up. And we also have the should shaker. If we say, well, you know, we really should. No, no, no. We really want to or we have to. We're legally obligated to or I really want to. But should is just demoralizing. So we're going to try to figure out the should. We also have to remember when <coughs> we're ready to pull our hair out. <coughs> Excuse me, boy, that's also hot, spicy, just saying. Um, when we're ready to pull our hair out because maybe things aren't moving fast enough, or they're moving too fast, or um, it seems like we're getting bogged down in things, or it's just not the way it used to be, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. So um, this is going to be added to our, ne our future meetings. Um, I'm going to have Nancy hold this. If we start to talk about anything getting a little bit difficult, or it seems like people are getting a little bit concerned with how the direction we're going. Remember, it's no pain, no gain. Right. Before we do the next part, which is sort of our ending, if you just talk about where you, you know, when you went through those categories, where you saw, you know, our weakness, you know, our, our more, our, 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 an area where we might 
you know, we really might be able to raise that GPA, or, or even where you think we excel. You know, just kind of from your perspective, where do you think we're excelling? Where do you think we really need some work? Go for it, Heather. I think we should celebrate arts more. I think there should be more rah-rah cheers when uh, artists and companies do come up and they're all through and stuff like that. And then when people come forward, uh, years ago when people did a project, we would all clap and be like, great job. And you know, there's a huge camaraderie of just joy and gratitude wrapped around it. And I think that's an important thing to help continue it's inspiring other people to get involved. So agree. That's just me. That. that was that was really my area as well. I uh, maybe I missed some things, so I felt a little odd grading things and knowing that my memory is crap. But I felt like the cultural diversity thing. I tried to think of all the things that we've done with cultural diversity. I know there was the hate you give thing that we did, and I want to say it was the totem out on the park in the oh, yeah. Was that in any way related to us? That was that was us. That was 2020. That was 2020. Oh okay. my. But I felt like the only thing I can come up with was that they It's pretty low, it. right? I felt like it was kind of low. Yeah, and it, and it was when it was graded back in 2020. What, for diversity? Yes. Yeah, we kind of stick at that. I mean, which I, think, I think we all want to. Yes. Yeah, I just think that's just an list. area where we could start really thinking about more. Yeah. As artists, as, as, as SAC, I yeah. mean, just really mm -hmm. start thinking how we can incorporate and do better with that. But I agree again, Jeff. Can I ask just kind of a non -sector? Uh, what happened to the powwows that used to be on the green? That I don't know about. I want to say yeah. uh, COVID maybe had something. I feel like that, that was in a couple of years from my guesses. Yeah. Maybe COVID had something to do with that. But I also don't know if that was associated with the SAC or not. It wasn't associated with SAC. That was uh, Chantel Bacchus was hoping to be here tonight. And she's with the Abenaki Council. Um, and also Richard Menard is one of our governing body members. And they would be the ones who really can give us more information on what the Abenaki have done. We like we hear about stuff sometimes, but I know they do so much more. There's some beautiful <laughs> artists. Um, uh, it's definitely a huge artist whose name escapes me right now, um, who I remember thinking was just exceptional, and she participated in several of these art shows. Um, I think in some ways we're very diverse because we accept everyone, you know, we're, we're accepting. We just don't know, we're, we're not celebrating Abenaki artists, we're celebrating artists. Some are Abenaki, some are people of color, some people, you know, some are uh, for different nationalities. We just call everybody an artist. I think that we can really do a lot better. Um, so if anyone has any brainstorms on that, that's, uh, I think that is very important to uh, Chloe Collins, who's another one of our government board yep. members, and she'll probably provide some, hopefully she'll provide some thoughts about some it. good ideas, but totally. I think that's something we should, I mean, we, I think we had a D in it before, maybe it was, a, I don't know if it was a D minus, I don't know if it was a D minus, it was pretty close. Um, we were, we could definitely, keep, we should definitely keep that in the back of our mind and make sure that everything we do is um, as inclusive and as encouraging. Do you think it would be possible to work again with the, to work with the Abenaki, the Abenaki Abenaki. Council to maybe redo the powwow? Because it was, I remember it being on Memorial Day and they would have a sweat lodge I remember it and it was like a whole three day event. Well, if mm -hmm. they want to, that's the other thing. I mean, there's certain things that like, um, we didn't mention Christmas in the park, which in, uh, next year is gonna be, I believe a holiday, Swanton holiday, it's not necessarily going to be all in the park. I know there's, there's already discussion about it. The question is, do they, do, do the Abenaki want to have another powwow or would they prefer to do something else? That might have been an event that wasn't, um, didn't work for what their mission was yeah. or it was just too difficult to pull off. We could offer it to it. Yeah. So that's something that I think, yes, yeah, if we need to give, uh, offer them, you know, offer them a, the assistance of the Arts Council, if it's something they want, we can do our best to help, but that's something that has to really spring from them. Yeah. And it's just to be really happy, you know, worried about your, your cultural diversity 
the room. I was thinking about that. I would love to see it. I love that. I'd love to see it again. So that would, I think I think that would be wonderful if we could have it. Yeah. If anyone wants to reach out to them, that would be, you know, and maybe talking to Chantel and talking to Richard and asking them if that's somebody. where that is on the radar. <laughs> oh, yeah, if anybody wants to, not somebody. I, cause I'm not going to do that. So uh, I can, I've, I've known, I was talking to Heather, that'd and I've known Chantel. That'd be awesome. So, yeah. for, um, for 10 years. Excellent. Yes. So that'd be thank awesome. you. And we yeah. don't have to shake a, somebody's ticket, anybody. So that's mm -hmm. I may even have a phone. Okay. Well, if I say it's in the long term report, it's a lot over. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Laurie, I just would like to, um, if, if you need a partner in the discussion, I would, I would like to, I'm coming from the mindset of a communications chair here, is that I would really like to be able to understand a little bit more about how to have better communications with the Abenaki community and have them more in the fold. Um, so I think you could just partner in and not burden them with so many visits. So if you would like to invite me, I would, I would love that. Yeah. And just while I'm talking, I, I know Heather talked about celebrating artists more, but I'd actually like to highlight celebrating our youth artists more. Like, you know, even even if they're, you know, out like, you know, Piper, Heather's daughter, you know, making bows and scrunchies and selling them, it's a, it's a talent, it's a craft, it's an art that, that, that I just like to foster more. And, and we, we have these youth groups that are doing a lot of work. Thank you, Molly. But I don't feel like I, as a community member, or even on an arts council, really know or feel like that's highlighted enough. But that's just my opinion. The Youth Art Show, this, this year the Youth Art Show, um, the library is interested in hosting it here at the library. Oh. So we didn't have it last year because of the pandemic. The year before, we were ready to go. Everything was happening, and then it was shut down at the last minute, so it was all online. So we've had two, two years before. off, but um, ready to have it go again uh, better than ever. Having it in the library, there's a bonus to that because it can stay up longer and people can wander through. Um, so that would be that would be lovely. Um, so that would be, that would be lovely, and that would be a good opportunity to have more of you highlighted because it will hopefully tie the school to the library to the arts. Um, and we'll maybe see some more. And with the youth art enough, we'll get a chance to maybe cycle some more artists through. Are you all listening to the art people who are doing their team? Yep. So Ashley Bowen is the one who's who's one of the art teachers who is working on the community mural, one of the community murals. Um, and Lindsay Video is head of the National Art Honor Society, and that's something we did because to our list is we give them a we give gifts every year to the National Arts Honor Society, um, the new inductees, and they're also part of their work very closely with the Emerging Artists Award. And when we do the Youth Art Show, that's how the emerging artists apply is by putting their artwork in the Youth Art. The judges would judge for the, the, the emerging artists who apply, but they would also look at all the rest of the artwork and they'd pick out their favorites and would do a shout out to those kids at um, awards night saying, you know, we think you've got something special and we want to give you this award for excellence. So um, it's hard though. I mean, you gotta, can't just like creep on kids on Facebook and, yeah. and, and say, oh, I like what you do. <laughs> Come play with us. You've got to be careful with that. So. Um, yeah, I mean, not all parents, like Joey, Dan Joe's son, who just loves art and loves to sell. He's just like this born salesman, Piper, who's outgoing. Not all of our young artists are, are as outgoing or have artistic parents who, who sure. can foster or give them an outlet. So if we could find a place that they could, you know, show their wares or sell their wares even, um, all the more, like in the farmer's market, you know, have a... A, a dedicated children's space mm -hmm. or something, maybe. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't know. Just brainstorming. Yeah. That's a great idea. idea. It would. That would take. That would. Yeah. That would take somebody. Somebody say, raise that stick. Oh. 
In order for that I'm to happen, in order for that to happen, <laughs> there would need to be a person who said, "I would like to make this happen," you know, because the kids would show up with their stuff. They would need guidance. So well, I've always had the market for for that exact reason. I mean, I could give a dedicated space. What I would need help is facilitating to get the youth artists into the market on a certain day. So we could do like a sign up sheet. You know, um, probably like March, April, we'll start planning on who's the days the markets are, who's gonna, what kids can be there for the the day, um, and just maybe we could do two two kids in a ten by ten uh, booth. I uh, have an extra ten I can bring. I, you know, set it up. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. Um, you do it this way. They do that we in five cards, they do it only kids. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do only kids, oh, really? personally. Well, it's more organized for the organizers. Of course, we don't need to solve that. these things right now, and we no. don't have to plan no, them. Sorry. It's it's no, really no, I think it's brilliant. That's, it's, it's good. I mean, I could, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go on only kids day. That's the thing. I don't know if there's other people like me who'd be like, no. But they could also talk about how they want to do another one. Do anybody else want to say anything just to add to that? Because if not, we should go forward with this board here. So your orange stickers. Everybody has two. Everybody should have two. We're going to invite you to come up to the board and choose two of those categories that are most important to you. So you only get two stickers for a reason. Because we, if we put stickers on everything, we're never going to be able to do everything. So we're trying to prioritize by basically. So hopefully, at the end of the end of this, and we're also taking information from the people who couldn't be here tonight. Um, I have information from two of them, so I'm going to put their stickers up because they reached out to me uh, independently um, for what they feel are the most two most important things. And also. There's a side for comments, any comments you want to make in terms of SAP or anything else, and also how you might personally contribute. Which doesn't mean you're going to lead something, which doesn't mean, but, but you know, something you really feel like, I would like to help with this, I would like to contribute towards this. So, post-its are here. Yes, Michelle. Okay, would you mind if I just, I know this is one of those no pain, no gain situations, and I, I just feel compelled to bring it up. I know everybody here are artists, but there's a lot to be done in the Arts Council from a business perspective to focus on as well so that we are enabled to do what we do and support organizations like Friends of the Library and, and other, other groups because of our nonprofit and 5013C status. So I just, I feel like I always have to put that out there because it's not glamorous work. It's painful for many of you. And I always have to feel compelled to bring that up. It's not going to be the one you want to put stuff on there, but I feel like it I is have up to there say somewhere, it. somehow. Mm -hmm. Is it up there? That doesn't yeah, mean an orange button yeah. is going to go on it. <laughs> yes, maybe. No, it I think some administrative, administrative stuff is up there. It is. It would be. Tell us right over these. Celebrating SAC successes, taking advantage of grant opportunities, incorporating art in public spaces, establishing standards for operations. That could be part of what you're saying. Yeah. Providing opportunities to work with other creatives, providing art-related classes and trainings, establishing partnerships and collaborating with community organizations, recognizing and awarding artists, educating the community about SAC, staying art artists focused, providing opportunities to be creative, establishing new creative programs, providing ongoing services and programming, creating and promoting cultural diversity, creating opportunities to sell and fund art, ensuring that funding is secured, providing project and operation support for SAC members. So I think yours would be yeah. um, standard practices standards. and operational support. Because yeah. I just feel like we can make things standard. easier. Yeah. That would be establishing standards yeah. and operation. Yeah. So two, two stickers, everybody. And I'm going to put extra on because I've gotten information from people. Yep. So I'm going to put my two on so the two that I've got some so that people are going to check my text to see if I've got anything Please uh, consider the post-it notes, too. Make one of those clipboard things. I'll do that. Yes. 
So, everybody's voted here, and I've got votes from three people outside, and this may change when we get all the other governing body information in. May not. Um, but it looks like we've got some eight, eight for public art front runners here. So we've got celebrating SAC successes. I've got one taking advantage of grant opportunities. I've got one. Art in public spaces looks like the big winner right now. Eh, I can't find it. Where's that one? Oh, that's in collaborate. Standards, we got three. Something standards. Three. That's pretty impressive. Opportunities work with the other creatives. I expected that would be higher personally, but it's not. Uh, that's okay. Um, that should be there. Art related <coughs> classes and trainings, we got five. Sorry, trying to find my I gotta tell you about my next uh, Can I make a comment? Yep. Me up. Um the one that you just said you were expecting to be higher? Yep. What is that? Uh providing opportunities to work with other creatives. I feel like the classes are the same thing in many yep. ways. Yep. So yeah, they get it. Good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, overlap that's, a little bit. That's yeah. good to know because like if people if we have more people saying classes, that lets us know that people want more classes, and maybe that's even the way though we're doing really good with it. it yeah, it's right. just tells us something. Well, spending time with other artists is great, but having a commonality of an activity to work on yep. is a little bit less intimidating. So yeah. that's that's what I want to say about that. Establishing nice. partnerships. We got one rewarding artist. We got three. <coughs> Art focused, art artist focused. Opportunities to be creative, which again, to be is yeah. kind of similar here. I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot overlapping. overlapping in that. Thank you, good word, that was the word I was looking for. Ongoing services and programming, that's another thing. It's very similar to, um, other things there, which I can't even find. Here we go. We get two there. Opportunities to sell and fund art. We get three there. No, nope, four there. Sorry, can't count. Cultural diversity. We get two. And then one for funding. What do you guys, we can just go around the room and I'm going to start with Molly because in case she has to leave earlier or she gets picked up. What does this, the question to everyone is, what does that tell you that we should be focused on in 2022? Um, I would definitely be interested in like trying to get more youth to sell their artwork. If we could make that easier. Is that something you'd like to, you'd be willing to work on yourself? Yeah, okay. Nice. Michelle? Michelle. I'm sorry, what's the question? The question is, what do you, th what, looking at this, what does that I think it's self-explanatory. I don't quite understand the question. The orange dots tell you where, where you want to focus and it's ranked in priority. Isn't that the purpose of the exercise? Well, or more specific, like, more, like, what you personally are interested in. What, not so much what, no. you're, not what you're personally interested in, but like, but, um, like I could take this one right here that says um, art in public spaces. What's, or any one of these that has multiple, you know, multiple things. What's something that you think would be a way to do that? Uh, because I can say art in public spaces, but that doesn't mean it's just going to magically appear. Right. So it, just taking that one, for example, thank you for directing me. A little confused as um, we have to f we have to be able to um, take an active role in making that possible from a zoning perspective and Ooh. working with the Planning Commission and zoning rules just because as, as I was hearing here you know art boards are popping up and things are going into windows and I know some of those are private property but there could be concerns about like 
what kind of art is just showing up anywhere and, and there's a bunch of rules to be regulated around that and either we'd be part of that conversation or we'd be um, penalized by it. So I feel like we need to have an active role in that conversation. In fact, you know, whether it's a partnership of SPAN, SAC, working with a SEP group, and planning commission, et cetera. I, I can go on. No, that's excellent, excellent. That's a great point. And planning commission is doing a new town plan, so that's very timely for 2022. George? Uh, I don't know. I, I, uh I'll uh, talk to my wife and get things figured out. I, 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 okay. <laughs> I just uh, you know, being here is, 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 a, is a step for me and, and uh, getting a feel for things and okay. being part of uh, being and getting the airport going and uh, go from there. Michelle, do you want me to put your name down for working on the, I mean, I know you're already going to work. I know you're already going to work. I'm already going to do it. Working so yeah, if you you're you're signing up. up. I'll, right. I'll put you down there. I guess it's in posterity now. Well, I, it's, well I, don't know how, I don't know how formal these minutes are. Do you need any be. blood, too? Yes. Yeah. 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 I was going to uh, take all firstborn male child, but yes. then I decided I didn't want to have anything to do with them. So, <laughs> so I think, is the eight, the one that has eight, is that the public art or is that the training? Public art. Yep. Well, I, I, I'm very committed to that, um, and I will continue to stay with SPAN and c continue to work with SAC and, you know, continue with the art boards, but also we have we have all sorts of thoughts of public art, so and we're going to be open to hearing more from people, and I'm there, and it's obvious that we're looking for continued public art. Um, but I also look at some of those ones and say, well, that's an area we need still some... And I just want to make a, 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 a personal contribution and, and willing to put time into um, uh, making sure those art socials happen. So I'm going to, I don't know that I could do it once a month, but I, I'm going to talk to Heather and, and I'm really going to try to make sure we have that happen at least six times a year. Excellent. Uh, and you know, to that. I think one of the things you made a great point. There's some of these things that only have one. There is absolutely no reason that we can't do something that's public art related that that <coughs> that incorporates. Does, does, that incorporates some of these other things. That's right. And we can do classes that incorporate some of these other things. That's right. So um, I think you know we we could get get. Uh, Helping artists to sell is something that we're interested in, but we're also looking at, you know, taking more advantage of more grants. Why don't there's a perfect marriage right there? Let's help some artists get some grants. Some good marriages, yeah. yeah. Because when the artists are successful, we're successful. Nancy, over to you. Um, nothing to add. Um, I am the lone circle under the grants. <coughs> I think it's. Uh, important to continue to get grants so that you can fund the, per the um, public art and you can fund the artists who are doing I mean I really appreciated getting paid for that class I did yeah. uh, with that grant that uh, I think Michelle got that yeah. so I think that's something that I know Janet was doing that. Janet's been working her she and she oh, loves grant help. writing yeah. um, Michelle has been great with grant writing yeah. it's something that people either like or they hate um, I'm giving it grant writing up for Lent, this coming <laughs> Lent. Um, I gave up Lent last year. I, I feel like that's just been going on for a while. So God is really forcing the, or yeah, shaping well, your grant that's give because, up. That's because I'm facing, I have to do the report out for the informed Swanton one. That's yeah. why. So maybe once I get that one done, I'll, uh, I would like to do a grant on, um, on doing the collected works of Swanee. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it. I'm seriously considering trying to do nice. a humanities grant on that. I think that if I got that, I would laugh myself into a coma. Um, <laughs> I'm not so great. great at finding grants, but I, I'm certainly She's happy to. I'm certainly a, happy to write anything, um, and, and I seem to be successful. So, um, which is it's a skill in of itself. But yes, absolutely. Find me a grant for Swanee. Especially one that doesn't have much reporting. George, you had something? Yes, uh, I'm willing to pitch in to help with grant writing Ooh. with some things like you know, I did with Janet last year. Some of that. And, uh, Excellent. Faith? I don't really have anything to add. 
as far as this piece of it, um, but I would be interested in working on grants if someone was willing to coach me. I'm a decent nice. writer, I just don't know what the whole process involves. We did apply this year, just so we know, for a subscription to grant database. That's right. um, so we, we do have membership to two through this small fee that we paid, and it, it can certainly pay off. Janet is the queen of finding them, um, and, but it's always helpful to have collaboration in writing and finding projects. So even if we write a grant and we get money, we need to be able to execute that. So for example, I have a grant for a mural, but now it's a big project to actually, and it's not enough, right? It's only a drop in the bucket of what some things might cost. So in of itself, you've got to be com committed or be able to identify a use of those monies. You know, you could apply for grants, but um, you have a responsibility to figure out what to do with it and under a short time frame sometimes. I think the first thing is to come up with an idea of what you really want because that was something that almost happened to us when we first started as an arts council. We really wanted some video, we really wanted some video cameras. Um, so a grant was written for a project that we really didn't want to do, but it would get us some video cameras. And we put the grant in, and then there was about two months of us thinking, oh dear God, I hope we don't get that grant. Mm -hmm. Because we really didn't <laughs> want to do the project. And we didn't get the grant, and we all breathed a sigh of relief, and then realized that we could get everything we needed from Northwest Access anyway. <laughs> so, so make sure that, I mean, it's free money, but it's not. You're the salmon. 2019 was the year of the salmon, and that, I mean, like, I still <coughs> get flashbacks on that. What did you say? I just <laughs> We have that, by the way. <laughs> that got requested through Interlibrary Loan, by the way. Somebody around the state. Were those people intoxicated? I don't know. I mean, but that was just a project that didn't die. And it was great. It was a wonderful learning experience, but um, it, it's not free. It's not free money. Skipping Heather, going on to Susie, David. What's that? Do you grants? have anything to add? Uh, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for elaborating. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna sleep on it, Kay. and I'm probably gonna um, do a scathing review on my new uh, blog that I have tomorrow. The okay. fact that there was no mention of live music in there, but. Well, that would be um, art and program. Public, that's art and public spaces. Um, yeah, that's right. that's mm -hmm. art and public it's just spaces. A, it's just okay. a, covers it, it all across the board. That is, that would be considered art and public spaces if it's out. Um, Fair enough. Maybe right. I won't come so, down Don't so yes. hard. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, thank you. Well, thank you. Lori? Yeah. Um, I'm going to I put my dog under um, cultural diversity, mm. and I didn't. I don't know what people's expectations are of what that means. Are we talking just living um, artists, yeah, of different cultural background? Are we talking about um, maybe art history education of different um, art artists, different? Um, from different cultural backgrounds, what it, what's when people say when you came up with this category, what was your expectations? I, I think there was no expectations when we came up with it. I think all all the things you suggested are Consider excellent that. and one step closer to becoming culturally culturally diverse. I I, mean, I would like to do the educational cultural cultural education part. I think that there's probably <coughs> several grants. Um, that would be a hot topic right now. So I would, um, I think, you know, reach out to Janet and Michelle if you could put that on your radar too, about um, kind of what grants diverse? there are for education um, regarding that and how it can tie into art. Yeah, I think it would be. I think there's probably something out there that we could we could get. But it's, it's like everything takes a project lead. Yeah. So that well, that might be Larry, and I, I, I would love to be sort of under that with yeah. you. So I mean, I wouldn't take a lead, but I would love to support. Yeah, I have, a, support. I have a background in anthropology and also in education. Yep. So I would love to. Yeah, that sounds great. 
That's wonderful. Would so, you be uh, interested in that? What's that? Would you be interested Absolutely. in that? Because I know that you put that's what you put your dot under too. Um, as far as cultural diversity, I, I, I work in the corporate Sorry. world and cultural diversity is, is everywhere, but I think what's important to know is that we in of ourselves, we might be of all similar color, but we all have a different cultural background too to, to try and not limit that to a particular, you know, a racial or an ethnic or, you know, Native American, but it, it's also celebrating your own unique cultural backgrounds, and we all come here differently. You know, I'm a transplant, and I have a different background. So just trying not to limit ourselves, you asked for a definition, I think. That's the challenge, is trying not to provide a definition. It could yeah. be celebrating the different age groups that we have in this community as well, you know, a bigger youth group and a bigger senior group. That in itself, we could just bring a little bit more respect between our own people no matter what, right? Yeah. You know, I just wanted to put no, that comment right. out there. It's just a, from an anthropo anthropological idea. I think you can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I know that there was mention of getting a an inclusion statement, and we reached out to um, Nicole Draper, who's formally formulating one for the town um, or the village. I'm not really sure which one, maybe both of them. Um, so it would be nice to have the, the Arts Council have one down the road. And I think because we do have dots on there, that's something that's going to raise up to be more of an importance to get that done. Allie, you got anything to add to this one? I'm just like impressed with what we've managed to do despite COVID. I yes. Think maintaining that level just on its own would be impressive. Despite like adding anything else would be amazing. So. I would gladly be a minion for uh, activities. And I'll just follow up on that. It's kind of inspired me to say something. I think we have a way of saying, despite COVID, I think COVID hasn't just been limiting, but it's also been broadening us to figure out new ways to deliver art electronically. And we've been able to deliver kits through a lot more people than we may have been able to reach through through classes and you know physical venues and things like that and that expense of it all so anyway I just want to appreciate COVID for what it has been able to do is for us to think more creatively on how to be creative does that make sense yes it does. Yeah, absolutely. I would wear a pen and said thank you COVID. thank you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you would, huh? it was the great reset I mean it took away, if you had a crutch, it kicked it out from underneath you. And you were pretty much like, oh, I, I look forward to shopping every week. And I can't do that anymore. Dang. You know, <laughs> and like, breakfast out was my jam, and that went away. But we so. also had artists who could instruct a class through yeah. maybe a little bit less pressure of a video and get their sea legs, if you will, through this venue or medium rather than being in you know, a room with 30 people teaching a class, I think it's been able to create a little bit more leadership of our artists, at least from my perspective. Last to you, Manira. Um, yeah, I, I like that. The, I like what the board shows. We incorporate art in public spaces, and that a lot more votes go to that. I completely agree with that. I love the idea of murals. I don't like the idea of having to kiss the ass of the people that you're asking to paint the mural on. So I'm all about the illegal one, but <laughs> if we're going to play the game, I'll play the game. Well, it's not going to stop us from doing, I mean, like if I put it on the side of my house, it's yeah. the public's going to see it. Yeah. And I know that the um, beautification committee is very interested in doing work with public art. So Sarah Foise, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of her um, working with things. There's no reason we can't have a public art contest. I mean, if you have something on the side <coughs> of your house, you'd be eligible. If you do a really gorgeous flower garden that's visible from the street, um, if I do something crazy that might get me arrested on the side of my house, then um. or We've talked about doing like um, window decorating contests, um, things like that, so you could do that more in the safety of your home and yeah. not 
you know, deface the side of your property, but yeah. in a window or something as or well. Or create something permanent on the side of your property. I mean, there's a law. There's no law right now that says, right now. I mean, mm -hmm. there's laws about fences. You can have a fence that's up to six feet high. There's absolutely no reason you can't paint it. Absolutely. Any yeah. color you want. Any color you want. Oh, good. All for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> private property is your business. <laughs> Although a sign Although about a government having business. a piece might actually be in violation of billboard laws it at this might. point. But, I, you know, I, if there's, there's going to be a <laughs> permit for that somewhere because I didn't put it up there. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be why it's covered up. <laughs> Maybe. Well, seasonal displays, I think, are known as temporary. So they're not. Then that's going to get covered up one of these days, right? What's that? The, the thing piece. on the cross of my piece of piece. Of my <laughs> garage. Should we figure out the origin of that? Why uh, not? MJ Jerky. That was their slogan. But yeah. Oh. Okay. MJ Jerky. Is it take yeah. a piece? Yeah. Have you had a piece today? Says, have you had a piece today? Oh, have you had that's a piece? Said, that's what it says across the top of my hands. We noticed that yeah. on Sunday. Hey. It's a lovely thing. There's a logo. It's a logo. His yeah. logo for a successful business no longer there. Did we miss anything? That's the sure we last did. thing. We've already talked about what we learned. Did we miss anything? And that's going to be the, the end of our, our meeting, except for eating the snacks. Mm -hmm. mm. A holiday displays. Should the Arts Council do something about uh, all the little independent, I don't know what you want to call so it, there uh, is one. lighted so art displays so that are everywhere there, in the community? There is one. I think over there, I don't know if it's Swanton, I don't know if it's the Chamber or Swanton Rec, but there is I think is Swanton a, Rec? There is a light up uh, I know. Thing. They enter and win public uh, vote for your favorite So what about that one display? with the radio station? I couldn't get it in. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get it in? I couldn't. <laughs> That's something we could help with. Oh, the one that has its own broadcasting yeah. of the music. Exactly. Pull into my driveway. Pull into my driveway, tune into this yeah. dial. and oh. yeah. yeah. So he's taking it to a whole new level there. Yeah, I think he wins and like the lights sync to the music. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's, it's oh, there's, there's that's an art. That's an art. It is an art. It's, it's an art. art. And I think it's uh, about a mile out of town. One yeah. of our challenges is finding, like when we were putting together, this is one of the reasons it was so difficult this year, we were so late with the governing body, was because all this art was happening and we couldn't even catch up. Like it's like, we'd make a list and they'd be like, oh, and there's that, and there's that, and there's that. Yeah. And there's that, and there's that, and there's that, and there's that. And then we just kept going and going and going and we didn't even look at all the volunteers, the people who put so many hours in. Um, I mean, if we could ever figure out a way to clock volunteer hours, right? we would, um, I don't even think we can count that high. Honestly. But it would be interesting. Somewhere. It is an interesting concept. An and there. same thing with the Hall Halloween displays. There are some just really, show. really impressive Halloween into. displays. Yeah. Yeah. And pumpkin carvings. So how do we do that? Because I can tell you that contests in Swanton do not get well participated in. <laughs> week if there's people will pay for things faster than they will join a contest uh -huh. it was pulling teeth to get any um any contests um but there was a, a lot of enthusiasm for decorating and putting up displays for halloween yep. and christmas this year and some of them are really, really amazing nice. so the question here's this, here's this was mentioned once before mm -hmm. instead of having a contest to asking for people to uh, put up their Christmas displays, should we just say, should we just have a group of people who were given money and said, okay, find the best Halloween or find the best Christmas display, and we'll give them something. We'll give them a gift certificate. Who's done that in the past? Is it done the chamber? As chamber, that? but you have to sign up for that. I think a public award. A public award. A public award. I think is a public much award. Much cooler than any of that. That people don't have to sign up for. Nope. So you. You're so just gonna. People are going to randomly go around looking for it, and it's, you're going to get awarded one day. I like that. Um, and I've got the honor. So you don't been. have to do anything. You just, it just Public happens. appreciation for most okay. popular. You've overdone it. Thank you very much. There yeah. should be a sign that they could put up for the following year. Like, oh, they should I won it. this, and they should get something. 20, 22 or whatever. 20, I mean, there yeah, was like one Halloween 20, 20, thing down on Route yeah, 7 like you're, you're on Spring Street, Holiday way down on the end. Mm -hmm. That was just absolutely incredible. It was a little cabin on the front lawn. They turned into a little haunted cabin. Oh, with, oh, wow. It's just tiki lanterns and smoke machines everywhere. And 
I was just mm -hmm. saying. Is that something you want to head up? Oh, I videotaped it. No, do you want to head up the, the <laughs> sure. court? Sure. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Well, it's fun. It's making a public, uh, public display, holiday display award. Swanton Arts recognizes you, something like that. Well, it just also like to be And appreciates to you. We just love it. It's great. One thing to just kind of promote it happening and then people post, like you, you're posting videos just so those of us who don't go on Spring Street, I would like to know, but I don't, I don't know until I see something. Right. I wouldn't know to go. And I don't ever usually get to go around, but now that it's been banned because of COVID at my house, I actually got to walk around and look at Halloween displays for a change, yeah. and it was yeah. great. But but we could we could have a you know on some kind of Facebook forum or something to kind of like post your, one of your favorites that you've seen and yeah. just kind of that's add cool. that yeah. more, and then that's where your voting would come from. Yeah. Is I, I think mm -hmm. I I like that idea, but we have not had any success with that. We, I mean, it just every time we say, oh, post your favorite video and then vote or sign up and vote. Do it anyway. We've struggled, struggled, struggled. Really, we've, yeah. we've put, exhausted ourselves. But I um, think it's trying to get other public. So you're not asking like me to decorate my house because I'll never do it. And, but somebody else will just see my house and be like, mm -hmm. oh, you should go see, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Michelle's oh, yeah, house or, or our neighbor's house. They're, they're not interested, but I mean, we're going to make them interested by giving them an award. Yeah, definitely like and share, but I think that we could yeah. do an award every you know, Sweet. season. I, I think like that's it. a wonderful idea. Um, but I only walked around in, in the snow drive around in the village for and I post those videos, and there were a lot of people in town that you really come out and see Mullen. They wanted you to come out to see that. Yeah. yeah, I can believe that. I they don't blame them. I don't blame them. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I can help you with that. I drive around for Meals on Wheels. Yeah. And I drive out to like oh. West Swanton. And so if I see something, I'll yeah. stop. Hey, I'll Dave, stop go check that out. I haven't gone around. I just walked around in the snow because it was kind of cool to do that. It's okay. rare. So. Okay, eat something before you leave. <sighs> Put your mask on if you're not eating something. I'm eating. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure. Thank you, everyone. And when the ballots um, will be slowly tripled in, I've got a people to check up with. If you haven't still just put your ballot in and put it in. Uh, when do our, uh, I just, just want to say our regular meetings are again on, what day is it? First Monday of each month. Yeah, please come. Please come to any of those. What time? Here, uh, they start at sure. six. Um, you'll have to wait for a meeting to do something. Right. And we're all going to be in the morning whether you want to be or not. And Judy, <laughs> when will you send out the announcements about the next board? For Murphy's getting the start.